Hello, I'm Nicola Fronello, PhD student in Business and Behavioral Science at the University of Chieti Pescara. Today I'm presenting some uh, preliminary results on a novel proposal for functional data clustering. Often, in environmental research problems, data are gathered at discrete points over some continuous domain, such as, for example, temperatures over time, acoustic signals, pollution concentration along altitude, etc. This type of data can be seen as a realization of an underlying function, and they, indeed, can be treated as a functional data. Being able to detect different classes from a set of this unlabeled data is a challenging task, and often it is required as a preprocessing step to conduct further analysis. Working in the context of model-based clustering, we assume a mixture of Gaussian distribution generating each functional prediction coefficients. By the equipment of an L1 type penalty term to the right clued function, we achieve a sparse representation of the sampled curves into a basis of functions, which helps the most cluster detection. In particular, the parameters estimation is obtained by um, an array extending an already existing algorithm, first proposed by Zupang and Schelling 2009, for functional data. This algorithm consists in a combination of a common HEAM algorithm plus a graphical lasso one. Since the cluster structure is directly inferred from a likely function, we adapt some of the most common model selection indices to properly choose the correct model specification, that is, the number of clusters to consider and the value of the penalty term. In different simulation setups, our proposal achieves good clustering results in comparison to the other state-of-the-art methodologies. Moreover, it seems that the variable selection induced by the HAL1 penalization selects only the feature most helpful to separate each cluster. In the panel, we have a graphical representation of this property, where only some frequency are selected to separate each cluster. To evaluate the performance of this proposal in real-world environmental case scenarios, in the first panel we deal with a sustainable mobility problem in a metropolitan area. The analysis evaluates the common loading profiles of the Paris bike stations during a representative week. In the second one we show clustering results giving rise to different risk areas with respect to PM10 concentration during a year. The area considered is Piemonte in northern Italy in 2005. In conclusion, it seems that this proposal achieves good clustering results consistent with the existing literature. Moreover, the shrinkage introduced by the penalty term operates wisely in the feature space, setting to zero all the contribution of not discriminative ones. Thank you so much for your attention and for any question about this work, feel free to contact me on my personal email. Thank you so much.